Hey guys, it's Kyla. As you know, today is Halloween, so I'm here with some spooky news. Many moons ago, to commemorate Halloween, the Celts built huge sacred bonfires where people gathered to burn crops and animals as sacrifices. Scary. Now before I continue, you're probably wondering who the Celts are. The Celts were a European culture group first evident in the 7th and 8th century BC from Europe. During the celebration, the Celts wore costumes typically consisting of animal heads and skins and attempted to tell each other's fortune. In fact, they built a giant wooden statue they called the Wicker Man. They would put live animals and people and burn them as part of their sacrifices. When the celebration was over, they relit the fire to protect them during the coming winter. Halloween is a holiday we celebrate on October 31st. It originated with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, when people would light bonfires and wear costumes. Pope Gregory III designated November 1st as a time to honor All Saints. Soon, All Saints Day incorporated some of the traditions of Samhain. The evening before was known as Hallow's Eve, and later Halloween. Over time, Halloween evolved into a day of activities like trick-or-treating, carving jack-o'-lanterns, and wearing costumes. Celts believe that on the night before the New Year, the boundaries between the worlds of the dead and the living became blurred. On the night of October 31st, they celebrated Samhain, when it was believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to Earth. Ages ago, when history was short and winters were dark, tribes of Celtic farmers believed there was one day a year where the season of life meets the season of death, when malevolent spirits could rise from their graves and walk amongst the living. It was Celtic Ireland, BC, and that day was called Samhain, the Celtic word for summer's end. On a day when so many spirits lurked, Druid priests tried to foretell whether their villages would survive the winter. Ordinary Celts lit great bonfires and disguised themselves to repel and confuse the spirits. In the eighth century, in a likely attempt to distract the Celts from their pagan practice, Pope Gregory III established All Hallows Day, a day honoring all saints, known and unknown, on November 1st. Europeans accepted the new holiday, but saw no reason not to enjoy their traditional rituals as well, and soon Samhain became known as All Hallows Eve. From there, it was a short walk to the name we all know today, Halloween. Predictably, such a heathen tradition was of no interest to America's first Puritans, and so it, like Europe, was left behind. Until the mid-19th century, when a potato famine drove over a million starving Irish and their folklore across the Atlantic and into America's port cities. An ocean from home and immersed in a cultural melting pot, their traditions began to change. The roaring bonfires shrank to lanterns carved from gourds, the first jack-o'-lanterns, and the Celts' demonic disguises became the sinister costumes of modern-day Halloween. The origins of trick-or-treating remain unclear. It is believed to have stemmed from a custom known as souling, in which the poor went from home to home and prayed for the souls of each family's dead in exchange for small cakes to eat. By the early part of the 20th century, Halloween was gaining a foothold as an American institution. Mass-produced Halloween costumes became commonplace, making Halloween one of the most profitable holidays on the calendar, earning retailers billions of dollars. Halloween's appeal transcends age, delighting both children and, yes, even adults alike. It's a day to step into costume, gorge on sweets, throw ghoulish galas, and scare ourselves silly. The truth is frightfully clear. Not even a silver bullet could stop Halloween now. I'm Kyla, and I hope you enjoyed this bit of information about Halloween. Have a fun and safe night, everyone.